Okay, I want to talk about internationalization and localization, specifically having to do with currency and numbers. So I have a page here where I have a little simple script. All I'm doing is I've got a number declared. It's a decimal number. And then I'm using the international object. So this is something that's been added to JavaScript. The international object has a number format method. With this number format method, you can specify a locale and then various settings. This will give you an object. The object, the international number object, has a format method. You pass in a number to that and it will output for you a formatted number based on the locale. So I have this number 123,456.789. So this number, I am formatting it in the English Canadian and French Canadian style. I've def defined the style as decimal. The other styles, there's currency, decimal, and there's also a percent. For the decimal, this is when you just want to take a number and format it. So here I have the string that has been built from this number. So we take this number and we're converting it into a string. We're formatting it. And this is the English format with the comma separating every three digits and a decimal, a period for the decimal. The French format just has spaces to separate the thousands and then a comma as the decimal placeholder. So this is the English Canadian and the French Canadian. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, make this easier for you to, uh, to see. There we go. So that's the English and that's the French Canadian one. So this is my group of numbers. And then the currency section. Inside the currency section, I'm taking that same number and I'm formatting it with Canadian dollars, British pounds, euros, and Japanese yen. So those four different currencies. We're saying style is currency for all four of them. And then currency, this is the code. So I have actually an XML file here which defines all the different codes for all the different countries in the world. So Danish Krona, DKK. You can take these codes and put them inside of here as the value for the currency property. There's also an optional parameter, use grouping. Use grouping could be true, could be false, and you can use it for numbers, you can use it for currency, either one. I have removed it. I've set it to false for this first one, the Canadian dollar amount. Um, if I change this to true, so if you watch this first one here, there it is. So you can see the comma puts this into the groups of three digits. Um, you can see that the appropriate uh, currency symbol is being placed. It's being placed in the appropriate place. So for euros in Germany, in German, they put the symbol at the end. So that's why we get the euro here. For yen, it comes in front. For pounds and dollars, it comes in front. So you can specify that. And uh, if you want, you can also, there's another, other options. I'll put the link to the MDN Mozilla Developer Network reference in the comments for you, as well as a code gist for this XML file that has all the codes and the code gist for this page so that you can play with it. There's a few other options that you can specify. If you don't want to have the symbol, which is the default, you can also specify that you want the country code to appear instead. So this ENGB can show up there instead, or you can have uh, some other comment if you want. Now, if you come in here and you write some gibberish, like if you don't have a valid there we go. This is what you're going to get. So we do want to make sure that we've got appropriate codes in there. So if you do it all in uppercase but you have something that's wrong, you can end up with something like this instead. So CDN instead of CAD will give me just those letters in front. So you can take a look at some of the other options that you have. But the basic method is this. You say new international number format. You could put that into an object. So let's do that as an example. So let num equals that. 
that's our number format object. And then num.format, and you pass in the actual number that you want to use. Like this. You can do it in two steps, you can do it in one step, either one. So let's just comment that out. I'm not doing that, anything with that. And then finally, the one down here at the bottom, I'm just showing that you can um, specify different number formats. By default, it just wants to do number. It doesn't want to do currency. It wants to do, um, like we were doing up here, a decimal value. So this is the English Indian format. You can specify maximum significant digits, maximum fraction, yeah, maximum fraction digits, minimum fraction, minimum significant digits. So you can control how things are formatted and displayed as well. Okay, and that's it. That's all you need. So if you're getting data, say in a JSON file or an XML file being sent from a server to your page and you're going to display it, you can find out the locale that you need to use and then just use a little bit of JavaScript, a couple, one line of JavaScript. You can take the numbers and you can convert them into formatted numbers. Instead of having to do string manipulation, taking the number, turning it into a string and then doing your own work, this international object does the work for you. All right, so I hope that helps you out. As always, thanks for watching.